the quarterback play at Oklahoma has been exceptional, especially in the past decade or 12 years or so. Who is the best quarterback to play at Oklahoma in the past 10 to 12 years? <laughs> the best quarterback in the last 10 to 12 years, man. I really, the, uh, to be honest with you, the, the, the guy that's under center, <laughs> you know, so <laughs> they're all going to make plays, man. They all have something to offer, you know. I think um, – Josh Heupel led the way in early 2000s to the Nate Hibbles, to the Jason White, to the Sam Bradford, to the Landry Jones. Man, it just there's it, the list goes on there. Well, who's the guy that you hated playing against most at any level, high school, college, or in the pros? The guy that I hated to play against, um, Prince of Mucamero. I believe he's still with the New York Giants right now. He played at Nebraska. Um, he was always one of my biggest components or uh, opponents um, when I was in college. Um, you know, I feel like every – we always played in the Big 12 championship together. I was one of the better receivers on my team. He was one of the better corners on his team, team so we always were matched up. Um, he's a good friend of mine to this day, but he always gave me fits out there. Well, not including yourself, who's the greatest wide receiver of all time? <laughs> of all time? On any level? Any level. Jeez, man. You know, I guess – to be politically correct, you have to go with Jerry Rice. But, man, I, during my day, it was Randy Moss. Um, so that he was always exciting to watch. And then after that, Chad Johnson. Um, you know, I, receivers, man, they all have something special to offer. But I guess for, for me, honestly, Randy Moss would probably be one of the guys, not just because of what he did on the field, but, you know, it's a, a guy that I looked up to growing up.